A world in which everything is powered by electricity, including personal mobility. That's Birgit Gebhardt's vision of the future. Electromobility is a huge issue for cities because when you look at large urban areas, you see that the number of cities with more than a million people has quadrupled since the 1950s, from 80 back then to 365 today. And forecasts suggest that there will be even more big cities in the future. That means we'll need alternatives to vehicles that produce emissions. These will be out. Instead, we'll drive electric vehicles packed with software that makes life more comfortable. Siemens doesn't build cars today, but it does expect to provide mobility services in the future. Vehicles will be connected to charging stations that are part of the infrastructure, because by being able to rent the car out, I'll be able to help underwrite the cost of the batteries. The car will be linked to my cell phone and my personal diary, so the vehicle will automatically be able to determine when I need the car and where I want to go and charge the battery accordingly. The car communicates with my phone. Electricity will come mainly from renewable sources, but because wind and solar power sometimes provide more power than needed and at other times less than needed, batteries and electric cars will serve as buffers for the grid. The idea is that the batteries in every car store would get electricity from renewable sources and then feed it back into the grid at peak demand times. That would help involve individual citizens in the overall energy supply and increase awareness of renewable energies. It would also push these kinds of technologies to the levels that we hope to achieve with electromobility. So far, electromobility has largely remained experimental, especially in Europe. Part of the problem is that people don't trust the batteries. They take too long to charge, they don't provide enough power for long distances, and they're expensive. All not very good reasons to ignore electromobility, says the inventor of the street scooter, an idea being developed by researchers at the University of Aachen and private investors. The bare-bones model of this electric car would cost only around 5,000 euros. The expensive battery could be rented. I would pay only for what I need to go the distance I want to go. For instance, if I think I need just 50 kilometers, I'd pay leasing fees for just one battery pack. But if after a couple of months I decide I want twice as much range, I could add another battery pack, or a third. I could also go back down to just one pack. The developers hope to have a prototype finished by autumn. Typical customers would mainly be commuters who generally only drive their cars relatively short distances. Jürgen Walter and his students are pursuing a completely different idea. They want to get rid of the battery altogether. Their professor envisions electric cars that draw their power from an external source. If you can use induction to constantly draw energy from another source, you won't have to carry it around with you. That's the big disadvantage of a battery. First you have to charge it, then you have to carry the battery around, and it can weigh up to 400 kilograms. That doesn't make sense. The team from Karlsruhe envisions cars that draw their power from power cables buried under the surface of the street. Visions of electric mobility are forcing car makers to develop new products and technologies, whether they want to or not. In the worst case scenario, the automobile industry could become just a supplier of vehicles to power companies that sell mobility or perhaps a supplier for companies that provide communications technologies or mobility services. Companies serving customers who say, I need a car now, a train tomorrow, and three hours later a bicycle. When it comes to mobility, it's hard to know exactly what the future might hold.